Hey guys, welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will be giving you guys 15 cottagecore builds and details you guys should add to your world immediately. As you probably may have noticed, cottagecore is being a really, really new, like, cute building style in Minecraft, really popular building style in Minecraft. And I thought it would be a good idea to give you guys a video with a list of cute cottagecore builds and ideas and details and stuff like that that you could just easily add to your world some are a bit bigger than others but you know it's okay it's okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to drop that like and subscribe if you enjoy thank you so much okay let's get into it bye as you can see i kind of built everything together which looks kind of cool but i didn't really mean to let it look like some kind of village or anything so here you can kind of already see what i've been going for let's just get into the separate builds and details Okay, so first of all, we have this cute little bridge. I feel like like tiny bridges are really good for cottage core type of stuff, and especially with leaves and stuff like that around it. Bridges can look so different, and you can just experiment with those like so much. Okay, then second of all, we have this tree swing, and I absolutely love this one. Like, um, I made the tree myself, as you can probably see. It's kind of bending over, right? And then we have this cute little, like, swing type of thing oh the sun's going down too um but you could just you like sit in here i mean i i just it's just so cute in my opinion i <laughs> i can't okay so enough over here we have this cute little flower store you know i just feel like it's a it's just kind of a cute little thing to add with the flowers and stuff you know because flowers is a big thing for cottage core and i really like that okay now over here we have um I, I absolutely love this one. We have a bird bath, right? And I just, oh! Yeah, just, just some a slab, a fence, and some signs, and the water, and you're literally done. It's so cute. Okay, so moving on to the main build we have over here right now. Um, I mean, is there anything I have to say? Mushroom houses. Mushroom houses are literally such good things to add to your world if you want to have a cottage core world. Like I'm not even kidding, it's so cute. And there's so many different designs you can try out. Like check out on Pinterest Minecraft mushroom houses and you'll find loads of cute designs. And there's also just these small, like these really small mushroom type of things with a uh, end world and then a mushroom block, which can be just cute little add-ons, you know? Okay, now these are kind of basic. But just these cute little farms, you know, not even big fields or anything. I mean, big fields would work, but just small, tiny, like, little farms. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Just, just farms. Okay, now over here we have a tree house, and I know tree houses are kind of basic and stuff, but I mean, a cottage core world kind of needs cute tree houses, you know? I made this tree myself, but you can definitely just use random trees, you know? Probably not that one, but random trees, you know? I just added some spruce stuff in the tree, which makes it look a bit nicer. And I just think it's really nice. And at the back of these trees, I added beehives and some bees, you know, because bees are just so cute. And they just, I don't know where they went. Oh, they're over here. They, they're just so cute. I can't. Okay, now look at this. I, um, picnic. Picnics. Minecraft picnics, that's all I have to say. And then we of course have a pond because we can't forget a pond when it comes to cottage core. Just some flowers around it, you know, just, just pop off. Of course we can't forget fountains, just like random central fountains and stuff. I added some flowers, but you, of course you don't have to. You can just think of any design you'd like. I saw this one on Pinterest, I think, with like a moon shape, which is kind of cute, but there's of course loads of other designs. I'm never that good at building fountains, but you can just think of anything you'd like. Okay, now over here we have a gazebo. Same for the gazebo, actually, like with the fountain. There's so many different designs you can try. It's just there's so many designs and it's so cute to like, if you build it far away from some kind of village or something you have and like build a path to it, you could just walk up to it, it would be so cute. Okay, now here we have a hobbit hole and I mean, hobbit holes are so cute, but um, I'm not really that good at building hobbit holes, but of course there's loads of things there's a hobbit hole pictures on Pinterest and stuff like that. You can check out. Um, I didn't do an interior. It's just a, a wall, but we, we didn't talk about it. But yeah, hobbit holes. If you have some kind of random hill, maybe you could try this out sometime. And then last but definitely not least, um, we've got stepping stones. I. <clears throat> 
anyways, we've got stepping stones and it's so cute. I just love these so much. I feel like if I'd have these in some kind of survival world, I'd just literally be doing, oh, oh, not that. I'd just literally be jumping on these stones all day, probably. Like I, f I feel like that would be the new parkour, you know? But yeah, stepping stones. I I really really like these. I saw this in a TikTok I think, and I just had to add it in because if you have some kind of walls or some kind of river or anything, and you add these, maybe instead of a bridge, maybe not. You know, you can do both just like I did. But it's just so nice, and it really adds onto your world. Now that was the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I really hope you enjoyed and it was helpful to you. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed. Make sure to also check out my other socials, such as my Twitch. They are all linked down below, and I stream twice a week now on Twitch, which is really cool. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.